Hey guys, I'm gonna show y'all a little cup full of these things, but uh, I'm gonna get one of them out of here too so you can see it a little bit better. But uh, this is a uh, vetch seeds that I got in my hand, and then uh, this is what they look like after they sprouted. The two little things just split open. So basically, they're growing all over here in the ditch. <laughs> they're growing in a lot of places, but basically, I'm just picking them like that and they hold like this together there's two little pieces but on this one you can see where those two little uh sides split out and twisted and the seeds came out of those already so but this is a whole bunch of vetch seeds and like i said you can see how many of them is just right there but they're all over i'll try to take a bigger picture i ain't gonna zoom in too much but uh you can see a whole bunch of them like right down there just all the little black seeds and they're like that on both sides of the ditch. The other thing I've been getting seeds from is this wood sorrel, which has this little bit of yellow flower. But whenever they get ripe, they turn into a red flower, kind of looking red looking thing or brown. Uh, here's some that are pretty ripe. I got a bunch of these already. But you see how there's some of them's yellow in there and you see how some of them's more brown? And that's where their seeds come from. So I've been collecting those seeds, uh, mostly just to, uh, have this is a bunch of them but these a lot of these are open already i don't know how well you can tell it but you can see that white on that black that's uh where they open that's the inside where you see the white side sorry about that bus coming by <laughs> uh anyway i'm gonna pause it for just a second and uh, i'm gonna walk over i'm gonna show y'all some different seeds that i got and like i said i'm just collecting these because my uh, chickens like them and i'm cultivating them mostly for them uh but this is the vetch before it actually uh it's a little patch of it right here that doesn't have seeds on it yet. That's kind of what it looks like before it gets uh, dried up and seeded. <laughs> okay, I'm across the road, but this is a ditch that uh, I was talking about. I'm gonna just shine, just take a picture of it down the road. You can see the ditch. That's a bunch of ryegrass growing in there, but you can also see there's vetch right there. And that's what I was picking, the little black stuff. But over here, this is a plot that I've had that I planted. It's got a uh, white clover in it. It's got ryegrass in it. Uh, it's got Timothy hay. This right here. That's a, well, it's Timothy grass. <laughs> a lot of people know it's Timothy hay. That's how they get it. And then the white flowers down there, that's a Dutch white clover. And this right here, I'm gonna show you somewhere back up in here. I got some uh, flax here, I see them now. And then I'm gonna show you uh, the pretty flowers on the vetch. I have wheat back in the back and oats. I don't think I got any oats up here, but I'll go back there and show you. But this is flax. Now this doesn't have the flowers on it anymore, but the little balls, that's actually where the flax seeds come out. And uh, basically you use a little thing, a little board with a bunch of nails in it, and you pull that across it, and it pops those little heads off. And then when they dry, they'll actually pop open and little seeds will come out of them. Right over here, uh, I plant a lot of flax in here, but a lot of it didn't come up. There is some dandelion in here uh, and some other stuff. <laughs> I didn't really plant, but I don't have a problem with it. Chickens like to eat it. But this right here with the pretty purple flowers, this is the vetch right here. That's, a, that's one of the flowers off of it. And the same vetch that I was picking the seeds off of. The little uh, black seeds I was showing you a while ago. But that's where it come from. I mean, that's the flowers on it. And you can see there's a good little bit of it out there. Uh, there should be a bunch more back here on the fence row. I ain't going to bore y'all with a lot of this. But now I'm going to show you what the oats look like and the wheat. Because I do have both of those. I'm going to walk back there where they're at. Here's actually a... Uh, this is actually a flax. It still has the flower on it. I'm trying to get it for you. I don't know if I got that. Well, I'm trying to get it in focus for y'all, but that little purple flower, <laughs> that's a flax seed. Uh, that's a flax flower, and then it's the little round balls. You can see them from the flax seed. There should have been more out here, but I think they're about all started turning into little seed heads. But this is some more of the uh, vetch back here, the little uh, flowers, the little purple ones. All right, like I said, I'm going to pause and I'm going to bring you back where the wheat and oat is and uh, then we'll unpause it one more time. All right, well, there's some chickens right over there and a bunch of oats and ryegrass and clover and everything else. And uh, they're having a good time eating it. <laughs> this is a bunch of red clover. I don't know how well y'all can see the red. 
But that's our red clover. I also have crimson clover somewhere. It's more purple. Uh, at least that's what I think. One of them is definitely purple and one of them is red. And I thought the red one, the one that's more red is the red clover. And I think the one that's more purple or lavender looking color is the uh, crimson clover. This is another clover. It doesn't have any flowers on it, but it's got a different shape of leaf. Uh, but anyway, that's another clover that I have. And then uh, a lot of this is ryegrass back here, but I'm going to show you some oats that I do have. Uh, try not to step on the clover too bad. I'm definitely not harvesting any of those clover seeds. I'm leaving all this back here. But these little bell looking things that are right here, that's oats. They hang down like little bells and uh, there's oats in there. That's where the oat seeds are. And uh, I also have wheat back here and uh, the wheat is just now starting to come out. So if I don't find one really quick, I'll pause it and find one and then bring y'all back. Uh, Cause there is some wheat back here. Yeah, here's some right here. I just didn't know how quick I'd be able to find it. But this is wheat right here. So, and it comes up. I don't know how well y'all can see the bigger heads on this, but they're just now starting to come out and pollinate a little bit. The little uh, pieces that are right there on the side. So they're not near about ready to, to pick or to cut <laughs> for seeds yet for my uh, chickens. But I'm gonna be harvesting all this. I'm gonna use my uh, hedge trimmer when I cut it. I will not. I'm, going to be harvesting the ryegrass seeds for anything but i will be harvesting the wheat this is some more of the wheat right over here and uh, i planted a lot more wheat but the wheat didn't come up as good as a lot of it was planted out in the front and maybe come up better than what i think and it's just now starting to come out the oats just came out and uh the oats has been out for a lot longer let me put it that way the seed heads at least on them has been out for a lot longer i just noticed the wheat the other day was coming out but uh, all this is planted for my chicken feed. So, like I said, that's, my chicken's running here and then uh, I'll let it seed up and then I'll come back and cut it. So, and then collect the seeds for replanting and for them to eat. All right, guys, so like I said, this one's gonna be a short one, but I just wanted to show y'all some of the stuff that I try to feed my chickens. Uh, like I said, they get turnips and uh, a lot of other things too, but that's just some of the stuff that I grow that we don't consider what we humans eat, well, I guess humans do eat oat and wheat. <laughs> uh, I don't think we eat ryegrass, but not this kind of ryegrass anyway. There is a type of rye that people eat, but they don't eat this. Uh, and I, you can eat, make tea out of clover even, so I guess we do eat it, but uh, I, I, like I said, this is more planted for the chickens and their feed, not for me. I guess you could eat vets too. Uh, look a lot like little, little bitty lentils. <laughs> Anyway, like I said, I was going to leave this one kind of short. I just wanted to show you all that. Uh, some of the stuff, I, like I said, that I plant for them. And uh, we'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you all.